Hopkins University. And we're also learning AstraZeneca is updating its data on how well its vaccine works. That data shows the company's vaccine is 76% effective in preventing COVID-19 symptoms and 100% effective in stopping severe disease and hospitalization. Now, those numbers are not far off from what was released earlier this week. U.S. health leaders criticized those numbers, saying it seemed AstraZeneca was cherry-picking to make its results seem better. The CDC says more than 1,000 people have tested positive for COVID-19 variants in Florida, but some health officials believe most variant cases are going unreported. People are only tested for a variant if their information is sent to the state health department, and then it goes to the CDC. The director of the Palm Beach County Health Department says her data shows the variants are spreading in the community. Some doctors in South Florida say they're seeing patients that have had COVID-19 already or have been vaccinated. Come in with a picture book presentation of a COVID pneumonia with low oxygen uh, and, uh, and they test positive for COVID. And you're scratching your head. You're saying, how can this be? That doctor believes those people may have been infected by variants. Doctors say the vaccine will offer at least some protection against variants, but they say everyone needs to keep wearing a mask and social distancing. Allergy season, you know, is in full swing right now. And a recent study in the National Academy of Sciences shows allergy season could increase your risk of getting COVID-19. It shows higher pollen levels were linked to an extra 10 to 30 percent increase in COVID-19 cases because sneezing and coughing can spread the virus. We spoke with a doctor from Trinity Family Physicians to figure out how to tell the difference between seasonal allergies and COVID-19. Remember, with COVID-19, um, fevers is definitely a symptom that we have, but sneezing and runny nose are not always what we get with COVID-19, okay? And so feeling extremely tired and having body aches, and sometimes people have gastrointestinal symptoms like diarrhea and upset stomach, uh, and extreme fatigue, just wanting to be in bed. Um, these are all symptoms of COVID-19. That doctor says it's crucial to get your allergies under control because inflammation in your airways can make it difficult to clear and fight infections. So while most of us are thinking about COVID-19 right now, some researchers at USF Health are focused on Alzheimer's disease, and you can be involved in their new clinical trials. So right now they're looking for people who do not have memory loss, and I wanted to learn about this new research. It's called the AHEAD study. I spoke with Dr. Amanda Smith. She is the director of clinical research. Basically, they're trying to get a head of Alzheimer's. And I wanted to know what makes this study different. We understand that changes in the brain start happening 10, 15, even 20 years before people start to get the very first symptoms of forgetfulness. And so this study aims to identify those people and intervene before they ever get any symptoms at all. Dr. Smith tells me Alzheimer's disease disproportionately impacts people of color and they are underrepresented in research. So the team at USF is trying to reach as many communities as possible for this study. They're looking for people 55 and older who don't have memory issues. You know, maybe you're concerned about your future because your mom or dad had problems with memory. Dr. Smith explained the whole process to me. So first there's a questionnaire online, then you make a screening visit and here's what's next. If they then pass that part, then they go on to having a amyloid PET scan. And what that does is show if there is amyloid pathology in the brain, that's the hallmark of Alzheimer's that's starting to build up, and then they can enroll in the trial. So from there, the study actually divides into two groups, and they take a really personalized approach to intervention and dosing of that medication. Researchers are doing this study all over the world. So if you want to get involved, know someone who might, or want other resources, go to our website, abcactionnews.com. I have all the info for you there.